kind of believe that we're in like the cave painting era of computer interfaces. Like they're very kind of, they don't go as deep or as emotionally engaging as they possibly could be. And I like to change all that. Um, hit me. Okay. So, I mean, this is the kind of status quo interface, right? It's very flat, kind of uh, rigid. And okay, so you could sex it up and like go to a much more lickable Mac, you know. Uh, but really, it's the kind of same old crap we've had for the last, uh, you know, 30 years. Point. <laughs> I mean, like I think we really put up with a lot of crap with our computers. I mean, it's, it's point and click, it's like the menus, icons, it's all, it's all the kind of same thing. And so one kind of information space that I kind of take inspiration from is my real desk. Um, it's so much more subtle, so much more kind of uh, visceral, you, you know, what's visible, what's not. And, um, and I like to kind of bring that experience to the desktop. So I kind of have a, uh, this, is, this is bump top. It's kind of a, like a new approach to uh, desktop computing. So you can bump things. They're all kind of physically uh, you know, manipulable and stuff. Um, and instead of, instead of that point and click, it's like a push and pull. Things collide as you'd expect them. Just like on my real desk, uh, I can, let me just grab these guys, I can turn things into piles instead of just the, uh, you know, the folders that we have. <laughs> Um, and once things are in a pile, I can browse them by th throwing them to a grid or, you know, flip through them like a book. Um, or I can lay them out like a deck of cards. Um, when, I, when they're laid out, you know, I can pull things to new locations or delete things. Or uh, just quickly sort a whole pile, you know, just immediately, right? Um, and then the, it's, it's all kind of smoothly animated instead of these sort of jarring changes you see in today's interfaces. Um, also, if I want to add something to a pile, well, how do I do that? I just toss it to the, to the pile and it's added right to the top in this kind of nice way. Also, some of the stuff we can do is, for these individual icons, we thought, I mean, how can we kind of play with the idea of icon and, and push that further? And one of the things I can do is make it bigger if I want to kind of emphasize it and make it more important. But what's really cool is that since there's a kind of physics simulation running under this, it's actually heavier. So the lighter stuff um, doesn't really, you know, doesn't really move, but I throw it at the lighter guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's, 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 it's cute, but it's also like a subtle channel of conveying information, right? This is heavy, so it feels more important. Um, so it's kind of cool. Despite computers everywhere, paper really hasn't disappeared because it has a lot of, I think, valuable properties. And some of those we wanted to kind of transfer to our, the icons in our system. And so one of the things you can do to our icons, just like paper, is crease them and fold them, um, just like paper to remember you know, something for later. Or uh, if you want to be destructive, you can just crumple it up and you know, toss it to the corner. <laughs> also, just like paper around our you know, workspace, we'll pin things up to the wall to remember them later. And I can do the same thing here. And uh, you know, you'll see post-it notes and things like that around people's offices. And I can pull them off when I want to work with them. So uh, one of the criticisms of this kind of approach to organization is that, you know, OK, well, my real desk is really messy. I don't want that mess on my uh, computer. So one thing we have for that is kind of like a grid align kind of um, so you get that more traditional desktop, things are kind of grid-aligned, more boring, but uh, you still have that kind of colliding and bumping, and you can still do fun things like make shells on your desktop. <laughs> and let's just break the shelf. Okay, that shelf broke. I think beyond the icons, I think another really cool domain for this uh, software, and I think it applies to more than just you know, icons uh, in your desktop, uh, but browsing photographs, I think it could really enrich uh, the way we kind of browse our photographs and bring it to that kind of shoebox of, you know, photos on, with your family on the kitchen table kind of thing. I can toss these things around. They're so much more tangible and, and touchable, and, you know, I can double click on something to take a look at it. And I can do all that kind of same stuff I showed you before. So I can pile things up, I can flip through it, I can, you know, okay, let's move this, this photo to the back, let's delete this guy here. And uh, I think it's just a much more rich kind of way of interacting with your information. Um, and that's bump top. Thanks. <laughs>